start. Welcome ah. back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Hey. We're back over to the group that's in the village of Barovia. They're not going to be there for very long because i got other stuff to do. Yeah. Uh, they're still in, where in the, the world basement would be? of Vlad's shop. Where, sort of secret where area. is Impsat? Where he has Bear done much, much preparation. I mean, usually uh, there would be like a fire somewhere, people screaming. None of this has happened, uh, so we, he's obviously locked away somewhere. I know that. <laughs> So Vlad's gonna actually go over to a panel, open it up, and reveal that he's got a lot of servants' clothing from the castle. No. Oh. It's like, if you would like to put these on over your armor, I can do some little touch-ups on makeup and disguise you. Let's do that. Esmeralda, French maid. Here you go. <laughs> Ooh. She's not into that. <laughs> <laughs> she refuses. She actually. refuses. It's either that or. By the way, something else, <laughs> something else that uh, you kind of notice as you're perusing around his sort of secret prep area. There's a painting above one, well of the, done uh, painting. one of the work tables, an immaculate painting of a woman who, uh, she's a beautiful woman. You've obviously, none of you have ever seen her before, except for Vlad, naturally. Terrell's not here. If there's any curiosity. He's on a slow fest. Uh, and every time Vlad walks past it, he kind of touches the, touches the painting in passing. It's going good. By the way. I'm waiting. Ooh. Is anyone going to put on the clothing to do disguises? <laughs> yeah, let's do that. Let's go ahead and do that. That's... Pretty clever idea. Yep. So that's going to take a little bit of time. So you take a few minutes. I have all the time in the world. Checks that I do for disguises. Mm. I'm proficient in disguise kit. Okay. Yeah, the so question is, give me. Does he get to roll for disguise since he's giving us the costumes, or do we each have to roll our own disguise? He kit? will be doing up all of the stuff. So give me. We're just gonna make it one roll. Give me a roll. Add your dexterity. I guess. That's the stuff. What are you what are you rolling for? What are you rolling for? Disguise. I'm disguising you all. Okay. Good thing it's a skill check, so ten plus four. Uh, so that'd be ten plus four plus plus four, so eighteen. Eighteen. Very good. Also you see on the uh, one of his tables. No, he this, more or less. Map the castle. Well, that's handy. <laughs> um, is there a secret? We went the wrong way. I'm sure. We have a choice. Secret <laughs> way <laughs> yeah, in. The answer well, to we did, that. Right? Huh? So we did good. We got a map. We did not. <laughs> <laughs> I get to be we. We collectively. We're <laughs> just we. Um, new nickname in games. We the only like entrance play. that you know of <laughs> is really in the front. There's not where somewhere where Strahd can fly in with his nightmare or anything. Oh, well, he's got windows and shit for that. Fair. I'm not going to have a nightmare for much longer. <laughs> so, um. So, what would. Uh, so, what are we disguised as? Just servants? Servants. All so, right. we can take the main road. Okay, well, we have to be carrying something back to say we left to get something. Well, we could... They could be coming from my shop. Do you have a trade with them, I guess? Uh, not much with Strad himself, but some of the servants use my clothes. That's okay. why I have extras. So we should bring those extras just to carry back, saying we brought back more. So just wearing disguises, them. carrying more disguises, and just walk past them. Da. You think it'll work? I think it would. So, um, once we've got a plan established, I'm going to enlist the eight of my friends here and carry everything up, carry some stuff, some bolts of cloth, basic tailoring kits upstairs. Right. okay. Um, before we leave the basement, before he douses the, the candles in there, he is going to walk up to the painting and put a hand on it, bow his head. As soon as he realizes you guys aren't looking, he kiss kiss the woman on her cheek and walk out the door. Kisses the painting. And whisper Nadia. 
Not yet. So once we're upstairs, gonna I've got a cart, I presume, somewhere. Yes. Because we can't really use Esmeralda's. We parked that in the back. Right. Yeah. There it is. There, That's there what I thought. <laughs> yeah. It's a matter of time. It's a matter of time for the dice when to fly in. <laughs> Don't worry, the cat got that one. <laughs> That's okay. I have so many D6s, it's like not even funny, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> let her, let, let her or him have it. Is that great? <laughs> Wait. What was it eating then? Do you have them all? I don't know. No idea. Not relevant. Okay. Yeah, so, so you're going to take the road? Let me see the map again. Alright. <coughs> so we're in the village. you're in the village here. The because road is going to be... Wait, what's the road universe? The windy. So we're gonna have to take the road to take the cars. That's all we're yeah, looking <laughs> at. What's the scale here? Why are you no give me scale, Matt? Alright, we'll say that every four tiles, every four hex hexagonal tiles. Is a mile. So you're looking at. Not that I counted up. There's probably a legend in the book. Or a it's probably like scale well, somewhere. One hex is a, is a quarter mile, so I'm right. Every four is a mile, so. <laughs> if we go up towards the lake, how much time can we cut off? Like go through the, this route? Yeah. It's fair. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's about ten miles. Which on a cart will probably take you maybe two hours. Not bad. Not bad. Okay. So you make your way. Uh, is there anything else you want to do in town before you head out? Um, well, we're armed up. We've got enough arrows to last us for a good, goodly while. I'm taking it. We found a bunch of arrows down there. Yes, you have arrows. So do I know what it is to make my bullets? You don't really have time to do that. No. Okay. We're good. I guess. Yeah, we're fine. We're fine. You have a bunch of pistol ammo. I just realized. I just used like 15 or 14. Yeah. Good. I just won't miss. Okay. So you head out. Um, <laughs> we're actually, I don't know how much time we have left currently, but we're going to actually kind of shift back over. Because no one wanted to ask about the painting. That no. would have taken up the rest of the time. <laughs> yeah. It's weird, but they don't they don't usually pry into other people's business. Till it becomes our business. That's, that's your shiz. Well. <laughs> so you do have a couple of hours in the wagon. Um, Anybody, any, any conversations, any planning? I think Vlad do? may actually tell them. Okay. So you're, you all kind of load up in the wagon, and uh, Vlad has a bit of a somber look, more so than a sort of normal look. Uh, and and as, as you continue down the road, when I used to work for Strad, I, uh, I did bad things. Did very many bad things. We've all done bad things. I no. did very many bad things. I got, a, I got an evil point. <laughs> <laughs> I, eventually, I grew a little tired of doing the bad things and started trying to do the good things. He once sent me to, uh, to someone's house he wanted me to kill a woman. Which was generally not the bad thing. I didn't care. She had to fight him openly, and he did not want her around anymore. So I was going to go, and she's very beautiful, very, very, very beautiful. And I've decided uh, 
once I saw her with, with some children. She, they were not her children, but she was just feeding children. Um, out of her own stores. Not to, not come inside around here. So I, uh, I decided not to kill her. And talked with her. She eventually talked me around to rebelling against Thrad. Until one day, he found out. I found out all about, all about, all about my good deeds. And he took her. I have not seen her for two years. That was painting in the basement of the shop. She, uh, last time I heard, she is not actually dead. She is like him. So she might be also in the yes. dungeon. Okay. It, it's possible she is in the castle. I, I heard that he made her one of his brides. Oh, well. I can't be. Kill the shit out of her. <clears throat> but we have to get our teammates yes. first. Then my, my first priority is to help get the others out with possible bonus of uh, freeing her from her life of torment. Now, that sounds reasonable. <laughs> that sounds reasonable. All right. If all else fails, I will I will kill her. She doesn't. She would not have wanted this life. Oh, there's a a great man once. His name was Jon Snow. He did that too. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I have not heard of this man. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. He's up uh, north, holding he the wall. And he knows nothing. <laughs> <laughs> he knows everything, yet he knows nothing. Oh, <laughs> uh, Lordy. So you, if you all got a good look at the painting, if you see her, let me know. I didn't really get a good look. So what does she look like? Um, I uh, so probably noticed. Uh, just even passively, because his perception is stupid. She's she's very and beautiful. And she's okay. Think, because this is kind of where we got the name from. Think Nadia from American Pie. <laughs> oh, okay. Like oh, then yeah, yeah. I did that as that. <laughs> yeah. I totally did. Like crazy hot. <laughs> All right, got it. Save the princess. Because <laughs> I've heard that it may be possible to reverse this with a uh, with a spell. I'm not overly fond of magic, but if if someone has uh, removed curse, maybe maybe do it. Somebody? I don't. He does not, but we find, we find No, plan. the druid knows all of them, don't they? Does the druid know all of his own spells? He would know uh, level three uh, here. Really? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I mean, he can, he can cast. He, he would know remove curse. Yeah. I mean, assuming it's on his list. It's not on his list. Anywhere. It's a level three spell, if I remember correctly. That's probably a cleric type thing. Mm. I know a Baracus name. So also Wisby. Oh, that's fair. Alright. But yes, I I if possible, we <laughs> may be able to get her on our side if we can get the remote. If we, I mean, I'd like to have her back. Yeah. I mean, if we see her, if you hear something, at least let us know before you run away. That's all. Like, I plan not to run away. If I see her, possible uh, possibility of happening, but not just, high. just yell out her name, and we'll know. <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah. But now you know why I want to kill Strahd. <laughs> well, that makes sense. Let's do it. Yeah, let's do it. Let's fucking kill Strahd. While you all After are we are on your way, we're gonna transition back over to Terrell opening the door to a lovely nightmare scene. Why didn't we self check? Because, because I thought it was this dead. group. I thought it was dead. Yeah. That's, group. that's a fair assumption. <clears throat> thought it was dead. You didn't know the not name of Strahd's horse. This this group got it. This group. <laughs> Still <laughs> the This group. It's just a slight <laughs> shift. We like impulse. But there's yeah. a significant <laughs> amount of stealth variance. <laughs> Terrell, what is your armor class? Uh, that would be a 22, I believe. Ooh, if he's, he if he's Order of the Likening. Oh. It's like a 21. He hasn't gone that yet, I don't think. Okay, then, uh, okay, I see he has 18 and then 
He's got a little triangle around <coughs> 22, so I'm assuming that 18 is the default. Is the, the standard mode. Got it. All right. So when you open the door, the two front, the two front who it kind of rears up and kicks at you, and he's gonna hit you. And he's gonna do if I can find the dice that I need. Not. Uh, I wrote my shitty on it actually. Ah. Uh, four mm. and four is eight, and then six is fourteen. So fourteen damage total. Um, was this number that was on here previously probably? Yes. Or, yeah. Eight is bludgeoning, and six is fire. And now it's time for initiative. The three of you. Yeah, my favorite thing. Uh, that's hey. where I actually kind of like um, to be last. Terrell is 22. <laughs> Damn shit. Josh, can I do the do? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Can I throw one at you? You want, you want one too? I'm good. Okay. We're about to do the commercial. What did uh, what 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 did the uh, horse get? The Wonder Pony. It got a lot. Yeah, I'm last. Okay. Uh, last. Okay, Terrell. Where are we going? Right. Everyone needs to have I'm some going pretzels to if you want some. Let's try. Right. Do I have a limit to the lichen mode thing? Can we some sure we oh. here? Yeah. Can we throw this it's probably somewhere? a thing I should do, right? Yes. Is that a standard action? Uh, or is that just kind of a bonus? I think it's a bonus. I think it's a bonus action. So, so, yeah. so <laughs> right. 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 <laughs> and? Well. And is it within strike? I mean, I guess if it yes. kicks me, then it's probably within striking distance. Yes, it is. Um, let's see. What's his? Okay, yeah, his deck sucks. So we're not going to try to do my typical... Tumble, tumble, avoid techniques of dodging. Yeah, just, 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 just get up one. in there. Just get it. We're, we're just going right up into this. It's kind of like a, a fifteen foot column. Okay. Like hollow, coming in. Hollow. Um. Is he just usually just standard attack? Hammer time. Avoid. Hammer time. Yeah. Okay. I'm, I'm. Yeah. I see that written there. I can read that. Uh, where's my D? Flag. <laughs> no flag is beast. The real spell is it ignores immunity to fire. It does now. You just Whoa. had it. Ah. That's Good awesome. Mm. Tasty. Mm. Yeah. Uh, it's going to be a 19. <coughs> no, 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 19. And I guess he. So. It says 1d8 plus 6, and then he has circles 1d10. Is that order of lichen thing? I guess. I don't know how this thing, thing works. Do, just do, do the d10. Okay, instead. If he's watching, he may. Eli, I'm sorry if you're watching. Okay. Uh, that's a 4 plus. So six is only ten. Is that about what he does? But he did more than that. I don't know. Um, <coughs> he gets Salty. more than one attack, though. Oh yeah, yeah. He gets two attacks. <coughs> so. Uh, that's an eleven. Eleven is going to miss. It's going to go again. Because it can. Kick out at you now. Now Terrell's AC is uh, 22. 22. That's a natural 19 plus stuff. So we're gonna hit again. <coughs> Doesn't matter. <laughs> a lovely 13 bludgeoning and nine fire for a total of 20. 
tis but a scratch. Eli is not watching, by the way. Keeps having a chip. That's not not surprised. Uh, and no one is watching. Okay. Um, <laughs> not a problem. problem. This is most. This is like the fact that we're streaming is kind of a bonus. Yeah. For those who want to watch, it's mostly for the recording and all the camera link up and everything. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, rage. Okay. Uh, oh, well. I get to go next. But and there is no lag, by the way. Nice. That's pretty dope. Nikki was texting me while watching earlier. So, great Joel Swag. Um, can I get into the flanking position at all? Like, sort of like yeah, what, where, how, how are we fighting this? Is uh, it still it's in its stable? It's still, it's still in, stable. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's still kind of backed up into it. It, it. it kicked out twice so far. But you can step up and hit it. Okay, I'm gonna step up um, reckless attack. Oh lord! I think it's genius. I don't see how that Let's would not work. <laughs> Come on, crit. Nope. Shit. Uh, Fifteen. Fifteen. Wow. Is okay. With advantage. Three and a four. Shit. Uh, wait. It's still hit. With two attacks, so second attack too. All right. Let's do it. Can I mirror the nineteen plus stuff? Twenty uh, thirty. Yes. Not, not, not aware. All right. Mm -hmm. Can nightmares be charmed? Let's see. Uh, no, it's not. It's, this isn't an undead, a demon, or a fiend, right? It's a fiend. It is. Yeah. You mean I didn't know it. I think that bitch stands. Uh, so we did first attack. You want me to just give you all of it? And yeah, she got it. Is it? Does that make it radiant and fire and regular? Yeah. Um, no, <laughs> I, I think either option is probably a good attack. idea. 24. <laughs> I have to concentrate attack. on the dance one. He's hit, just can't get hit. Is there only one thing you're fighting? 23. Three multiple things. Let's just fix that then. Well, so 47 total. 47 total. Good telekinesis. Woo! Two attacks. Which does. Uh, it's not a shape. Yeah, this is nice. Isaac Smith? Oh. Can't, can't. I can, done can. A mm -hmm. check. Because I had the start of your turn if you're taking damage since the beginning of your last turn. Well. What happens if you fail it? Um, you're supposed to move directly towards the nearest creature to you and use the attack action against that creature. Which you did. So that's yeah. fair. So I was probably bloodlusted. Um, you're under an effect that prevents you from concentrating. Like barbarians rage, you automatically fail. Can it be charmed? It can understand. Okay. Common, and it is its intelligence is ten. So I would say technically yes. Smart horsey. Wait, what are you gonna do? I'll make that bitch dance. Listen to my it can't move. <laughs> like, it can't move. It, it gets hoops. it gets disadvantaged on attack rolls. Like uh, thinking of the very end of Django Unchained, where yeah. he has the the horse to do like that. It's yeah. it's basically just gonna sit there and like trot, kind of like equestrian. So I have to make a save. Uh, don't think so. I think you just kind of dancing. There's a save involved. Choose a creature. I ain't seen in range that target begins the comic dance in place, shuffling and tapping its feast and capering for the duration. Uh, dancing creature must use all its movement without leaving its space and has disadvantage on deck series, saving throws, attack rolls. While the target is uh, Otto's Irresistible Dance. So basically, guys, you get to attack a horse that can't move. No, yeah, dude, dude. I got the uh, turn of the T. Autos, O T T O. Oh. Corey, you want some of these? As an action, a dancing creature makes a wisdom saving throw to regain control of itself. So, as an action, it can try to save itself. Mm. Concentration up to one minute. So, we're about to kill the fuck out of this horse, guys. Oh, fair enough. Disadvantage on extended saving throws and attack rolls. The target is affected by the spell. The creatures have advantage. Dope. So As instead an of attacking, it can action and, uh, you know. Uh, make a wisdom saving throw. On a 
successful save the spell ends. Got it. Okay. Cool. So it's just sitting there trotting. Yep. The horse begins to dance. <laughs> the nightmare begins to do horsey dance. It does the running man on four hooves. Uh, that's funny. <laughs> Terrell. <laughs> Genius. It's Donkey. It's it. Donkey from it's Shrek when he got transformed into a horse. Oh. Drop, drop, drop in place. No. I love it. <laughs> that's, that was a stupid spell to get, but it's Turn around. Around. Uh, uh, it's, that's great. I love it. Well, I mean, that was the best level 6 spell I could pick up, and it's worked at least one other time. <laughs> Alright. Uh, go ahead and choose what he's going to do. We're going to come back here in just a little bit. Later. Remember, I made that one.